Hey Weathers, back with the TensorFlow.js tutorial series. Now we're moving on to MobileNet, getting up and running with the examples and guides for MobileNet. The MobileNet tutorial is not on here, but I think it's really important, especially from the mobile perspective, and that's the one I really wanna go over next. The documentation for Google is CD into your directory, NPM install and NPM run watch in your directories. So let's go ahead and do that. Get that up and running. I found that you have to run a few extra commands uh, each and every time to get MobileNet up and running. So first things first, here is the GitHub repo. We cloned this in the previous video, so you can go back and watch that video or do a git clone, pull the repo in. Now, we go back to our Cloud9 instance, host it on AWS. We will, we are in the tensorflow.js mobile net directory. Here are all the files here on this side, so you'll see those. We're here. If we do an ls, we see all the files. Then we would actually run npm install-g yarn. So you're going to run yarn and then you will run a yarn run watch. Let's make sure. Yeah, yarn watch. So we're going to run a yarn watch. Dash P 8080. So the environment is building. We've already opened the port on our instance, so we're good to go. We'll see here that it's built. So let's refresh the screen and let's see if it comes up. Okay, great. So we'll see here that mobile net is actually running. We have an Egyptian cat and that's the file that is here when we push the ls so you'll see the cat jpeg right there let me see how a prediction will do with one of my own photos so i'll choose a photo Let's see here downloads hmm. this is one of our training classrooms let's open that Okay, so it's desk, library, bar. So desk, 60, 65% accurate. Let's see if I have anything else on here good. Tell you what, let's look up a photo of, let's say like a cheeseburger or something. This little one. Save image as burger. Okay, awesome. Let's go back to our mobile net model. Here's the burger. Okay, 67% a cheeseburger. So at least it's in the food range. So this is how you deploy the mobile net model. Now, if it doesn't go as smooth as this, go back to the first video, walk through all the steps. Yarn works better for me than NPM. And don't forget to specify the port when you run your model. So yarn watch and specify the port. I'm Javon, thanks for watching. Next up is the Iris data set. Have a great day.